The morning of the trip, we arrived at school at 6 a.m. and got on the bus. Everyone is excited as well as sleepy. It was a 14-hour bus ride to the first campsite. On day two, after a short drive, we finally arrived at the ferry. We loaded the gear and prepared to cast off. First night, we walked down to the beach and did a journal write. What does it mean for me to be here, in this position, reflecting on all of my past experiences? Seeing how important those experiences are to me makes me think and wonder on what I would be without the college school. I wonder what I would be doing if I wasn't here, sitting on this island, hearing the waves, scraping off bugs, and seeing the stars above. This all makes me realize that this was meant to be. No stress, nothing to worry about, just me, my flashlight, and my journal. Two years of TCS have worked up to this year, this trip, this island, and this book on life. And I am enjoying every minute of it. What it means to me is that TCS is my place, my name, and my family. On day three, we got ready for our first field ecology site study. While on the beach, we got to use the big seine net to catch fish in the tide pool. Afterwards, we did what was called a super site study. Super site study was basically a series of rapid site studies done on Cabretta Beach and in all the different zones that the beach has. There were a couple that we couldn't do because they were like in water and you can't really do a site study in water. but. We found a wide variety of plants. It was like super diverse. You could tell where each plant was from because there were no plants from like the tide pools in the meadows. And it was just really neat to see all the different plants and how the plants changed depending on which zone they were in. On the next and final day on Sapelo Island, we did our last bit of field work. We split up with part of the group going to the salt marsh and the rest of us going to the bridge. Then, we left the campsite and toured the mansion and the lighthouse, two historic sites of the island. Finally, we were ready to leave. We packed up the ferry and said goodbye to our first location on Field Eco. The second major part of our trip was Okefenokee Swamp. Probably the biggest part of Okefenokee Swamp was canoeing to Billy's Island. There we did a site study and had some major discoveries for some of our scientific groups. The first of which was a huge discovery for our human impact researchers and our geologists. 
uh, there are a lot of relics on this island, of, um, according to other researchers that I've asked, and to my own, like, uh, knowledge, knowledge, uh, used for, like, coal mining and make me, uh, like, gear pipes into the ground, stuff used for just generally processing that kind of stuff, uh, and there's a lot of leftover stuff that kind of ties into the locks research. Also, a huge discovery for our botany group. Well, Chloe and I were really excited, and we thought it looked really cool, something we had never seen before. And when everybody told us that no one had identified it before, we were really excited to get back to school and try to identify it. And what did the plant end up being? A jack in the pulpit. It's a medicinal plant that usually grows in the southern area. Unfortunately, the day we had to pack up, it started raining very, very hard. What did you think about the whitewater rafting? I really enjoyed it. There was a really big thrill in my group when we were going over the rapids. We were all really excited and I just didn't know what was going to happen next. How did you feel about Nantahala Falls? That was my favorite part. It was really exciting and everyone in my raft was screaming and it was a really fun time. How did you like the pictures that came out of that? <laughs> well, all of us were screaming in the pictures and smiling and you could tell we were having a really great time. As we drove to Chimney Tops Trailhead, we made a stop in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We got out of the bus and walked to an amazing outlook over the Blue Mountains. Our third site study started at the bottom of the mountain. We spread out across parts of the trail and down between large rocks scattering the cold river. After the site study, we headed for the top of the mountain, passing by the Appalachian Trail, awaiting the beautiful view to be seen.
As we drove home, everyone was exhausted. When we pulled into the TCS driveway, we got off the bus and immediately started unpacking everything. Everyone had a blast on Field Eco, and I think most people would agree that we would definitely want to go again. Resolution. We are literally at the zenith of our story and our mountain. What have I learned as the protagonist? What are the challenges? What is our lesson? The theme of field ecology is the science of adaptations. The trip field ecology is not only about practicing the skills we've learned about our sciences and our adaptations, but it is also to bond. It is to get to know one another as people, not just students. And our resolution is to reflect. We reflect with one another about what we've learned as a class. The lesson is to learn to connect science, facts, and skills to life. Reaching out to others in order to know them better is something you are taught, and so is adaptation. But it is an adaptation, a skill, and a prize to apply this to life. Then once we've learned, we can teach. Oh yeah, and there was a snake on the bus.